stylized hummingbirds on a birdhouse acrylic painting tutorial by hot pink zebra paper so this is the birdhouse that i actually i have had this footage on my computer for so long this was a christmas gift to my grandmother she loves hummingbirds and birds in general and collects birdhouses so i found this birdhouse in my closet and i decided that i would paint it for her so i'm going to be I just actually based out the entire birdhouse with white paint. It started out as a natural wood. And so then I'm going to start outlining my different uh, little hummingbirds with some burgundy paint. So here's the first one. He's got an open wing view from his tummy. And then with that same burgundy paint, I'm going to be painting a, um, a repeated pattern across the entire house, which is going to start with these little half circles. I'm going to paint half circles going in one direction and then go through and paint half circles going in a different direction. It's actually a couple different similar patterns that I used. So this is the first one. So then after I have that, I'm going to be adding a couple little poles or like um, teardrop uh, little lines in each of them, each of the little half circles that I have. Just like that. Very simple pattern. And I'm going to repeat it on the other side. It's nothing um, too difficult. It's I love um, these, type of, these types of patterns. So I decided that I would add that. Plus it makes... It almost looks like lace and so i thought she'd like that and the entire birdhouse is only done in a few different colors i also wanted to keep the palette relatively simple so there's a lot of burgundy pink and peach in this which also really goes well in my grandmother's house so after i have that done i'm going to go back to my hummingbird and i'm going to paint over him with just a light peach color this is like my base color for everything that i've done here so after i have that in there i'm going to be painting his burgundy with his burgundy with beak his beak with burgundy and also his eye and so then for the rest of the hummingbird i'm going to use pinks and burgundies and white as well as that peach color so i'm just going to increase the size of his eye a little bit and keep adding the colors and when i'm painting these hummingbirds i'm using a whole bunch of like dabbing strokes that's going to help with the feather appearance and make him look a little bit more textured so just almost like you're stippling this entire thing. So just keep adding little dabs of color here and there to give him the right texture. So I'm gonna add his tail feathers, really simple. Like I said, these are stylized hummingbirds. This isn't, um, I'm not going for realism here. They really are just for, they're just really pretty and striking and all the same color and the same style, but in different poses across the birdhouse. If you are looking for a more realistic hummingbird tutorial, I will be uploading one. The next video I'm uploading is actually going to be another hummingbird. This time it's a canvas. It's going to be on a canvas. It's a painting I just finished last night, actually. And I'm really excited to share that one with you. I'm going to also go over some um, foreground, background techniques that I use often, but that's in the next video. Um, so for the wings, I also went through and just used those same colors and I first just laid down some of that peach and then I blended in some burgundy. So each of the wing feathers has a slightly different color to it. And when you do that, it really defines each one without having to do any outlining or anything like that. So it makes them individualized and uh, visible without doing any outlining, which is a totally different style. So that's how I did that with that. And then for the top part of the wings that have the shorter feathers, not the flight feathers, then I used a little bit more pink in there for that. So just like that. And I, like I said, I used the same basic steps throughout the entire canvas or canvas birdhouse. So now for the sides, that first one was on the back of it. So now for the sides, I'm going to start with a painting a little perch with burgundy for my hummingbird and then painting a sitting hummingbird. And so when I picked out my hummingbird photos, I went through and there's a website that I use to find uh, copyright free images. And if you're interested in how I find images, I can put that link in the description box below. I have a whole video on planning paintings. I just go through and I searched hummingbirds and I found all kinds of hummingbird pictures that I loved. And I just grabbed the ones that I liked the most. So then I'm gonna be just the same way, burgundy on the beak, peach on the bird. And then I filled in a couple little bits on the perch with some of that really bright pink and then the exact same process going through and painting the hummingbird on here. And because he is sitting differently, some of the colors do show up a little differently. And I also, instead of using the traditional like blues and greens and browns that you would see on a hummingbird, I went through and used pink instead. I, I usually would prefer pink. So I thought I would go with that. Plus, you know, it's art, you can make your own rules. So I am painting this guy. This one's a little bit brighter and lighter of a color. So there isn't as much of that dark burgundy. It's more of the pinks. And so each one is individualized. They're not all identically the same. And I'm gonna be adding his flight feathers right there. Same thing, first down with the peach and then adding the burgundy, just like that. And then there's a little bit of the other wing feathers that are at the top of his arm, just a little bit right in there, just like that. And then adding the other wing behind him after I get those finished 
just like so. And so when you're doing this, um, this is almost monochromatic. It's not quite. It's sort of in like, it's a cousin of being a monochrome painting. I normally don't do that. I normally like to use as many colors as I possibly can. So this was an interesting experience for me. The other thing that I'm going to be painting on here besides the lace pattern and the hummingbirds is hibiscus flowers. So I'm going to start those with a layer of that light peach color and then blend in white at the edges of the petals and then pink and burgundy on the inside of the petals going out in these little streaks just like that. And the reason I went with hibiscus flowers is well, hummingbirds love them, so I figured that was appropriate. Plus, they're very striking on, they're just, they're a unique flower that's easily recognizable, and so I really like those. So this one's actually on the front of the birdhouse. So then I'm going to be adding the center of the flower and the stamen, and then I'm going to be adding little dots of, um, also highlighted the stamen with some pink, and then little dots of yellow for the pollen on the end of the stamen, and then a hummingbird that's swooping in to have lunch. And so I'm gonna be adding this one, um, this is from the side view, so you see both wings in profile, just like that. And then I'm going to be adding his beak, his eye, same exact process once again, just a little bit of his toes, you can see under his tummy, just like that. Adding those, adding those little dabbing motions for the feathers. And once you get into like the feeling of making these dabs, it gets, you can do these really, really fast because it's just, it's almost mindless. You can just keep keep going and you don't have to overthink it which if you don't overthink things generally in my experience they turn out better that way sometimes you can get where you just start thinking too much and then you second guess everything you're doing and it always seems to be a more frustrating painting experience if you do that so there's the front wing then i'll do the back wing and i don't know why i was doing the front wings first instead of doing the back wings that's not right normally you'd want to do farther and work your way closer so that if you overlap things it doesn't matter but i don't know so then on the top of the on the top of the on the top of the top of the birdhouse on the roof i'm going to be starting and i did three hibiscus flowers on each side so there's the first one same exact thing like i painted the other hibiscus flower just like that so the little peach then white on the outside pink and burgundy in the center and as i blended out the white and the pink and the burgundy into the peach that peach paint was still wet so i was working really fast because acrylic paint especially if you just use it straight and not adding an additive it dries extremely quickly so like i said i was doing this painting on the fast side because it well it works better that way and then i'm going to be adding the stamens to each of the flowers and then the little bits of yellow on the ends of them just like that so that is the only place on this that i used yellow I didn't use yellow anywhere else, but I figured it was necessary in that particular location to have that. So I'm going to be adding the other pattern, the other lace pattern that I used. So starting with two rows of those half circles, just like that. And then I'm going to be adding some of those pulls in every other of the half circles and then adding a smaller section. So two little, lo two little loops or half circles in between each of those other ones. And then adding a couple more pulls above the ones that haven't had any yet dots inside the little loops and then some dots inside the holes on the bigger ones. And then just, I kept going just because I couldn't stop. Um, but that's it. This uh, little hummingbird, hummingbird birdhouse is really pretty. It's not something that I've ever seen before. It's not similar to other birdhouses. So I really enjoyed making it. I hope you like it too. And uh, check out my Facebook and Instagram for more art. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.